Hi everyone, this is the demonstration on that first video that I sh I've just shot for you on the LinkedIn profile creator. I want to show you and demonstrate to you the steps behind making a profile, so to make it really easy to follow. You can pause this at any time so you can work on this as you're setting up your own. Okie dokie, so let's get started. The, um, the first thing that, um, that I'd like you to do is to create an account. Um, so if you haven't created an account, go to linkedin.com and put your details in there. You'll come to this screen like this and there'll be a join today um, button up that way. And then you'll enter in all your personal details and then LinkedIn will send you an email to confirm that that's what you want to do. After you've done that, use your, um, your, your email and your password to come to your profile which will probably be pretty empty um, and I'll just sign in here and then we can get started on creating a profile so um, the big thing just while this is loading up that I'd like you to do is get a get a photo um, people don't trust people who don't have a photo on LinkedIn and that's that is a um, universal thing it doesn't mean that it's right that people who don't have photos can't be trusted but it sure goes a long way so whatever your purpose is for LinkedIn if you haven't got a photo up it's going to be detrimental to to finding a job or building your network whatever it is okay so you're this is the home page and you're going to um, see something quite like this after a little while what you're going to be able to do is use this page to check out who has been looking at your profile so you can have a look down here and it'll come up and you can say okay let's have a look so we can see that all of these ladies have and gentlemen have been looking at my profile and I'm thinking I'll be thinking ah oh, I wonder why she's looking at my profile I might jump on hers and have a look to see um, why you know maybe there's something of interest I can see that we know four people in common and we've got with um, a member of three groups so we're probably um, doing something very similar this lady I've seen um, in a couple a couple of weeks ago I got talking with her at a table at a um, at a seminar and she was really interesting so she's just checking out my profile because she probably wants to give me a buzz sometime soon we've got nine people that we both know so that's pretty good this guy, um, you know, I, I'm just thinking I met him at, at swimming on the weekend for my son's swimming, so um, we used to share offices, so he's checking my profile out. This little thing here is, um, it's a lion, which basically means that um, people have got, a, like they get privileged access to see a lot more. They can, um, I'm not exactly sure because I wouldn't be bothered with it, but um, it it's something that um, if pe people who are really, really interested in networking can check out. So there you go, and even someone from Canada's checked me out. So, so there you go, the world is our oyster. Alrighty, let's go to view profile and have a look at what we can do. So the very first thing you do is you put your name in. See how this is where I put my name in? I've put Executive Resume Writer Australia. Now why have I done that? Because people who people aren't going to search for Bonnie Power unless they've met me at a, um, at a you know at a, at a do. Um, but they're going to search probably for executive resume writer in Australia. So I would offer you the same tip to put in whatever your title is. Um, be specific. So if you're a project manager, put in specifically what you do project manage. And then the location, if you want to go Australia or if you want to go Victoria or Melbourne or Queensland. Um, pop that in. And the way that you can pop it in is you say edit profile here. So you'll go into your little edit profile button and say edit. It'll probably would have come up automatically straight away, but see where I've put in all of that other stuff in, in my last name. Okay. Um, and then the headline, this is what you do to basically um, get people's attention. So it's whatever words that you're interested in. I wouldn't come right out and say that you're looking for a job. But you can basically um, say that, you know, state um, what you're doing or um, the um, your your main job function um, and and the, maybe your key strengths that you have to offer. It can change all the time, and when you get into LinkedIn, check out how other people are using it because people are getting really creative. Then you're putting in your zip so that your postcode so that people can check you out. And the industry that you're in 
Okay, so um, the next thing that um, we did in the um, in our little talk just before is we talked about the purpose. We talked about it, why you're wanting to do LinkedIn. Um, if you're looking for a job, you need to answer those four questions. Um, the you know the brilliance of LinkedIn basically being your online resume. Um, that's really what it is. Um, how people will find you. You know they're going to use your search box to search for key titles and um, in in the geographical area. The things that here we go. Here we go. This is what we need to do. So the summary is next. So what we're going to do is have a look at our summary. Now your summary. If Melbourne Resume has helped you with your resume. You're going to basically copy and paste that first big paragraph into your summary section. But the, you've got 2,000 characters, and I'm going to say use every single one of them because this is your web page, and if it's filled with words that are going to, um, that people are going to search for, like to find somebody like you, then you will um, get more hits and you'll get more calls and you'll get more opportunities. So look what I've done. I've loaded this with, I made it easy to read, for example, so just giving you white space, making it look aesthetically pleasing. And then I have done um, this. That's a search term. That's a search term. That is a, could be a search term. Job interview training is a search term people put in to find people who offer the services that I do. Okay. Now, this um, might not be a search term, but that basically increases people's uh, confidence that when they deal with us, we 100% guarantee and back everything that we do because we'll give you your money back if you're not happy. Um, the Melbourne, that's a search term. Graduates, professionals, executives, C-level, executive again. All of those are sprinkled through government positions. That's because I can help people get into government roles. I can help people get into C-level roles. Um, so they, that is a good way to use the 2,000 characters. And then I've even put my email address and my phone number in there. Um, you can do that too if you're a consultant or you've got your own small business. So um, then you've got the specialty section and this is where you basically put your services or put your key, like if you're looking for a job, your key strengths and um, your key areas of, of achievement. If you like these little buttons, these little bullet points, you can go into mine and copy and paste them. Or if you go into any ones, any profiles that you like, you can just copy and paste it because um, LinkedIn doesn't let you insert symbols, which is kind of annoying. Um, look at this, you can even put in PowerPoints presentations. So I put this on a long time ago. If you're interested in putting up a PowerPoint slide, go to SlideShare Presentations. That's an application. Once you're um, in here, you press Add Application. So if you want to try that out, you can just put me on pause and have a look at that and then come back to this, okay? There's so many applications that I've um, got to get into, but you know this, this one is a good one, but there's so many, like Google Presentation is really good that I'm going to be using soon. Um, the next step is to put in the experience. So you can um, make it easy to read, give it heaps of white space, but tell people concisely what you've done. If you've done had your resume done, um, you can basically upload your whole resume and it'll put all this in within about 30 seconds. So it'll put in your, um, you know, your title, your company name, um, all of this stuff goes in and it usually goes in the right spot. You might have to sort of do a bit of editing, but it's pretty good. So I put in as much detail as I can. I go way back just because if people are interested in going and reading way, way, way back, you know, to the last 10 years, then let them, you know, if that's going to build confidence and give them an overview of my background and where I come from and what I've learned, then that's fine. If that's what information um, they need to help them to pick up the phone and get in contact with me, I'm, I've got nothing to hide so they can check me out. Okay. So and then there's the education, which will be uploaded when you um, when you upload your resume. Okay, so what we're going to do next is talk about recommendations and interests. But for now, I will say goodbye. I hope this has been helpful, and we'll speak with you soon. Thank you.